Alright guys, I'm Rabir. And I'm Matt. And this is Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Yes it is. <laughs> Okay, today is a big day. It is a massive day. It's huge. Oh, yes. This is probably the most long period of time requested uh, artist we've ever had on Sound Like. So yeah, today we're going to be sounding like Elvis Presley. <laughs> As Rabia said, this is long anticipated, long awaited. We're going to be sounding, or trying at least to sound like the very awesome Radiohead. Uh, it's a tall order. It's a tall, it's a very tall order. This they is probably are, the most specific sounding artist, isn't it? it we're, we're going to bunch it in that camp, tonally, kind of. Tonal specificness with the Jack Whites, the Josh Homies. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard. I mean not only that, huge catalogue, back catalogue, loads of different songs, loads of iconic songs. And so So many different sounds. Yeah, and so we need to be kind of I don't know, there's just so much to think about and so many pedals and oh. Johnny Greenwood's sound is obviously super, super iconic. Um, I'm gonna be Ed O'Brien-ing. Um, but we're going to be trying, I think, with the songs we play, try and hit up the full sound. So as with, much with as we two can. guitarists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to caveat ourselves. So bear with us. us. And without further ado, let's do this. We need some guitars. We need some guitars. Johnny Greenwood. Johnny Greenwood Telecaster. Okay. What kind of Telecaster? Anything specific? Um, modded Telecaster. So just to point out that you're currently in the Squire section. Does yes. that mean that you're? trying to save money for something else. Well, because it's obviously a pedals thing, isn't it? Well, it is. I, I mean, if you get that Tele style guitar and you get like a, a nice clean amp, so probably like a Fender style clean amp, I'm just saying, then I reckon it's all about the pedals, isn't it? It's so all about the cool effects. you're gonna try and save as much money as possible for those pedals. Yeah. Righto, this is the Fender Modern Player Telecaster. This is crafted in China. And the cool thing about this, and I think this is what drew us towards it, drew us towards it, is the fact that you've got quite a lot of pickup options. Um, you've got a five-way switch, which is going to be really useful. That'd be handy. Um, and three pickups. Yep. Yeah. And we're gonna. I reckon, to be honest, that I'm just broad strokes in this. Yeah. No. No. This is a broad strokes option. This means we have as many options as we might think we need. Yeah. This is an ESP. Well, it's an LTD ESP. Uh, crazy guitar that I think would fit perfectly within the style of Radiohead. Radiohead imagery, if I ever saw it, that's it. Yeah. That is it. And I like this tiny little switch. Yeah. Okay, so for Ed O'Brien, I'm going to go for a Fender Squire Classic Vibe Stratocaster. In the knowledge that he uses, he's got his signature Damasio set, I think, in a strat he has, so I think I might team it with a pickup booster, maybe the Seymour Duncan one just to give my pickups a little bit of extra bite. Um, but I think a Strat is the option, so that's my plan. Boom. So for about 420 pounds, you can get one of these beautiful plastic drives in a 50s or a 60s. Amplifiers. Amplification. Amplification. Um, I guess thinking? for Johnny Greenwood, um, if the clean is mega important, and then I think if, uh, effects and distortion comes not secondary, but after, so Fender amp for me, because I think turning a guitar into a Fender amp is a marriage in Thanks. itself. So I think with regards to budget, this one over here, this is the Champion Champion 40. Um, now, the cool thing about this is, of course, you've got two different input, well, you've got two different channels, like an analog channel and then one with gain, but then you've got effects. So you, so we kind of save maybe a touch of money on the fact we've got reverb delay, we've got some chorus, tremolo, a couple of cool options in here. That'll, that'll sort us and out. And it's a 40 watt amp, so there's good, it's gigable as well. And Brian uses messes, but has used loads of other stuff, including boxes. So I'm thinking, Probably Vox, so we can mix it up a bit, because they have yeah, nice clean tanks. Maybe an AC-15. 
Right, we're on to the pedals, which is the most exciting and most... It's the scariest bit. The scary bit, because if we get it wrong, then we potentially get it wrong. I'm just gonna say, to, to, to begin with, my guitar is about 430 something, and the amplifier is about 150 pounds. So, so you have loads, which is... Important. Which is exactly what you need. And yeah. I'm on about 900-ish, so I still have quite a lot of money too. The difficulty with Johnny Greenwood is the effects are very good and they're very specific for specific songs. So although we've got an idea of the excerpts we want to do, some of those do involve specific effects. So it's like, it is a multi-effects thing, I think. It it's is going to have to be. We were listening to tracks earlier and we thought, at some points it feels like there's about three or four effects done together mm. and if you're on a budget without having those individual stomp boxes and maybe if you wanted a multi-effects it's kind of like you need two or three yeah do you know what i mean oh, but i suppose with your amp with some building effects yeah like, i'm gonna say i think strum and mobius would be a great shout okay only because it does have some really weird um effects that do that kind of yeah. i don't really know what the see my thinking thing yeah, basically, it's a very versatile pedal, and we used it for Incubus without busting the bag, and it we delivered. Did. We did, we did, and that is the kind of, it's a similar type of guitarist. Yeah, way, not, not to say that Incubus and Radiohead are anything like each other in terms no, of their guitars, but their specific effects for specific songs. Yeah, that, those, and those effects make that song and that guitar part. Exactly. So just to fill you in real quick, we Ooh. actually were going to talk about the new Boss MD500, which is Boss's sort of rival pedal to the Mobius in the sense that it's very, very similar, but a uh, boss version. It's more affordable, which is great. Uh, however, it's not in stock. Which isn't great. So we would have saved nearly a hundred pounds, uh, but unfortunately we can't get that. So it looks like the Mobius, the Mobius it is. is probably gonna win this. Of course, Johnny Greenwood is massively famous for using a Digitech Whammy. Unfortunately, Andersons don't have any in stock. However, they do have the Whammy Ricochet, which is the small stomp box version, and you can still dial in and achieve that kind of sweeping uh, Whammy effect. So I reckon that's probably the best bet. So I've got the Mobius, I've got the Whammy Ricochet. I actually saved about 80 pounds not getting the DT, which is good. Um, I've also got my Fender Champion 40 amplifier, and I've got my uh, Fender Modern Player Telecaster. And a little birdie tells me that this, the MXR Dynacomp Mini, is going to do a great job of embellishing those clean tones Johnny Greenwood is so famous for, because apparently he uses a lot of compression on his clean tone. So, those are my pedals. I also need to get myself a delay, um, and delays can be expensive, so I'm thinking Tone City, probably £40, I think, for the tape machine. That's going to be helpful, plus all the built-in reverbs and delay on the amplifier should do the job. We have all the gear. Yes, we do. We have a lot of, well, I don't have that much gear here, but I've got my guitar and my, my amp at the back. I feel anxious. Do you? Yeah, because I want to make sure we get this right. I want to make sure this is so good. There's a lot of variables at play, so let's see how we do. We're back in the video room. Yes, we are in this mission to sound like the one and only Radiohead. And it's worth saying it, we've been here for about three hours getting these sounds. Yeah, so we hope it's worth it and we hope you think we've done all right. We always use the word specific and I think that is the right word. It's, it's one of those bands so where it's... Specific. Yeah, those, those songs have very specific... Every song has a specific sound, doesn't yeah. it? It's not, it's not like ACDC, no offence to ACDC, but where it's like rock sounds and yeah, drums yeah, and bass, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like very specific. But so. and also, like, ACDC have never changed their sound, really. Yeah. Radiohead have totally done that. Yes. Um, so trying to cover all those eras is quite difficult. And with that in thing. mind, we've got a pedal cam, so hopefully you can see on, the, on that what's going on on the pedal board side of things. But um, I'm going to just take you through all my gear in one go. So we'll start with the guitar. This is for Johnny Greenwood. We got the, I think, very appropriate uh, Fender Modern Player Telecaster. This is, to be fair, a really good guitar for the money. It is. Pine body, maple necks, made in China. 
Um, and the cool thing about it is you've got a humbucker, then you've got a single coil in the middle position, then you've got your sort of classic telly style pickup in the neck. It's got a five way. So you can blend position two, you can do, you know, like these two coils, then you've got middle position and then blend these two. So it's really, it's really flexible. A lot of guitar for the money at 436 pounds. <laughs> Lovely, and that's going into the JHS Crayon, which is kind of like, it's a bit of a fuzzy style sounding pedal. Um, hopefully you can see on the pedal cam, um, you've got this high pass switch as well, which is really useful if you want lo loads of bass or not so much bass. Hmm. Um, straight out of that into the MXR Dynacomp Mini, uh, which we all love the Dynacomp. It's a of great, it's, it's got its own sound as a compressor as well. And the Mini version is, is nice because you've got this extra little attack switch as well. And it does the job it's meant to do. Into the Whammy Ricochet, which... It's a very cool pedal. Which, to be fair, did the job it was meant to do. I mean... That was for my iron lung. Yeah. The only... I suppose the thing is, uh, it would have been great to get the Whammy DT because I think we would have had a little bit more option of the sort of tone of the Whammy. And, is that and, the only thing you used it for? Yeah, literally the only thing I used it for. And I'll tell you what, my favourite feature about it is that you can yeah. control how fast it goes up to the note you want it to and then how, and how slow. So, for example, if I then hit just this sound like that, I can actually slow down the, the, how long it takes to get there. So, how cool is that? And again, on the way down, so I can go. This is cool. Beautiful. That's well good. So yeah, so that's the Whammy Ricochet. Uh, I think, I suppose, because we use it for the one specific moment in the song, uh, it did the job it was meant to do. Straight out of that into the Proco Rat, which we used on Just. Yep. And it delivered the sort of overdrive tones that we needed. Um, everybody knows and loves the Proco Rat. It's a straight up and easy pedal to use. And then we've got the Tone City Tape Machine, which provided the delay. So a nice sort of... Which is cool. It, it, it you know it delivers a delay sound that's nice and warm and not too digital, which I like. And then finally, uh, the Strymon Mobius, which is the most expensive pedal that we used for me. Um, well, it's four, over four hundred pounds. It is over four hundred. But it pounds. can do everything modulation related. <laughs> Oh yeah, 12 different modulation machines in one pedal and then each of those can be uh, customised to the nth degree. Yep. So we used it uh, on Subterranean Home Circalian yep. and I'll show you the sound that we got. It's Again, that was a very difficult is, sound to get. It's a difficult get. one to get, yeah, yeah. So I totally. used the Quadrator uh, patch in the Mobius and kind of tried to dial in an effect where depending on how much you hit the string, the more it gives you the effect. So for example, if I go like this, See now, it's, it's got it's got that right type of decay that you kind of like the falling feeling afterwards. Yeah, it, it, because you can set the ramp and how fast you want it to do that, similar to the ricochet in a way. But if I don't hit it very hard, but if I hit it harder.
finally is the Champion 40 by Fender. It's a little solid state 40 watt amplifier with built-in effects. I use the reverb in this quite a lot actually. Um, and I used it into the analog input, so literally just volume and then you've got bass, middle and treble and that's it. And to be perfectly fair to it, it delivered a great sounding clean that was a great platform for any pedal we wanted to stack on top. There you go. There you go. Well, next is my rig. And as I said in the store, this is kind of a loosely based on Ed O'Brien's rig, but it's also just a super flexible, supportive rig roll. Yeah. Um, I didn't actually go classic vibe either. I settled on this, which is a Fender standard HSH Strat, which is made in Mexico. And these are brand, brand new. So it's got the Power Ferro, not Rosewood board. Um, the cool thing about this, again, it's all about flexibility and reading about Ed O'Brien's rig, he has changed amps, guitars, pedals, like a gazillion, gazillion times. Um, so I just wanted something that would sound good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. this is the guitar and it is HSH, but you can split here on the tone um, and split the coils so it sounds more stratty. So yeah. that was really good. That runs directly into the OD3. Um, I did read Ed O'Brien uses an OD1, but this was the closest we could get. So that's kind of more for the kind of high gain rhythm tones. Mm. And then the pickup booster, that was the idea there is to try and replicate his Damasios in his strat um, by making, just giving them a little lift. Mm. Um, so that's just set on about quarter. Um, and then this is the Boss GT1, which is a multi effects thing, new from Boss. And this kind of does everything, you know, as I do. Yeah. Bit of distortion, it's got all my delays, reverbs, modulations, everything. And then that runs into the box AC15, which is, we've used many times before. Great amp. Is a really good amp, and that's got lo um, a built-in reverb tank. It mm -hmm. also has built-in tremolo. Not a load of um, kind of tone control and yeah. tone shaping stuff, which does make it a little bit harder to work with. But because the guitar is quite versatile, that was kind of bounced out a bit. Mm. Mm. So you're getting a little bit of push from the amp as it is. Exactly, yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. And then you can split, as I said, like if I split out the neck. So yeah, you get strat sounds pretty easily. And then with the pickup booster in, which I kind of had in most of the time. It, it just, just gives it a little... Bark, make it a bit more barky, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. It kind of does the same thing. It just gives everything a push. Yep. Um, and then with my overdrive... That actually sounds really nice. So yeah, that kind of gives you the old school Radiohead kind of drive sound. It's nice and saturated. I quite like the way it sounds. You can hear all the notes in the chord. So the, I mean, love them or hate them, but the acoustic simulator is great. And these Boss GT1s are only about 150 quid, I think. So yeah, it's just handy without, you know. Uh, to be fair, having like compressors, overdrives, different modulations, delays, reverbs that are all programmable to a bank is pretty impressive for 150 quid. <laughs> It's a good option. If you... It's a great option and yeah. I kind of mixed, for some of the more ambient sections you can mix a bit of delay and with these knobs here you can change them pretty easily. Loads of delays, loads of reverbs, you can mix that with the tremolo and the massive reverbs in the amp. Which is huge. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
But I think in fair, in general, um, it's it's just a very difficult artist to replicate, especially when it's, you, you're extracting just the guitars from the, the whole arrangement. But I think with these rigs, you can get pretty close. If you're a fan of Radiohead and you want to get those kind of tones and you want to start experimenting with that kind of sound for your own band, then any element of this will, will give you an essence of Radiohead in, one, in some capacity. But it is one of those things that's so versatile, both of them, that you can just... You can play a lot of stuff oh, with, yeah. with these kind of rigs. So there you go, that is how to sound like Radiohead uh, without necessarily busting said bank. Yes. <laughs> and I guess we really, really hope that you like it. And we hope we've done them justice, and at some point we will do a buy busting. I'd love to do a buy busting where there's just no limit. Because... It'll be one of those where we can get, let's get all the proper pedals yeah. for all the proper sounds. and um... We could even stack a Mobius on top of a Mobius. We could have five. We could have five Mobiuses. Five Mobii. In any case, let us know what you think in the comments section below and we will provide all the links to these uh, bits of gear in the description box. Yes. Um, let us know who else you'd like to see a sound like. Um, that's whether it's by busting, you know, without busting, or really, really cheap. The Super Saver Challenge. The Super Saver Sounds Like Challenge. Anyway, yes. right, I've been Matt. I've been Rabir. And this has been Sound Like on Anderson's TV. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.